This is a review of the second My IT Lab Grader Project, the Travel Expense Report. I have a note at the beginning of the file here. Make sure that you are downloading the correct file. You upload this, you're not going to get a grade. It's going to be a zero. There have been a few modifications here. And we're going to be working with the formulas in here. I'm not doing everything in here. Read the instructions, go through it methodically. Uh, try not to get distracted. And you're open, you're saving things in here. I want to be talking about formulas. This is a travel report here. And <clears throat> a date is a number. And I want to know how many days I'm staying here. I'm in cell E5. So all you have to do is subtract the older date from the current date, four days. And what you're doing in here, you got budgets, the actual here. And what you're budgeting in here is the mileage. You can see it's 70 miles round trip, 58 cents, okay? So the, the person only spent $25 on that. Uh, we'll get into that later. So it's equal, the 70 miles times the 58 cents, 40 dollars and 60 cents. So you could see that it is under in this case here. I will get into that column later. I might not be following this in the precise order here. <clears throat> so read the instructions again. What the parking here, you could see we have 27 dollars a day. Zoom that up. And what it is here, you're going to be parked for four days, okay? And when you're doing this, it's actually, I would say, five days. Because you leave on a Monday, you park there, you come back on a Friday. So what it is, it's equal to $27 times. It's going to be the four nights here, but you have to put this in parentheses. add one to it hundred and thirty five dollars hotel accommodations you're staying four nights this is a slightly tricky one what it is it's going to be four nights you see this data here you got the hundred and forty nine dollars you also have to include the tax for this so we're going to begin the formula. We're in hotel accommodations. I'm in cell B17. Equal. It's going to be E5 times E6. In left parenthesis. Oops. Sorry about that. times you have to have parentheses again it's not just 18 percent otherwise it's going to end up really discounted it's going to be one plus the 18 percent here close the parentheses and I'm getting this warning here times because I didn't put in the multiplier that's what I want to do. Always read this carefully. So it's $703.28. Meals. When you're doing the meals, you're eating, eating every day there on the trip. So it's going to be, again, the five days. So it's equal to $65 times left parenthesis 1 plus the 4 5 days you're eating this was explained in the tutorial here if you're going to be adding the numbers here which it wants you to do later on you just do the sum you have to include all the numbers 
highlight and then you're going to be bringing it over to the right I'm going to bring this all the way over using the white the black cross here it's going to show zero here don't worry about that at this point the over or under we've got to subtract C from B so it's equal this minus this it's under budget 1560 you copying it down you copy I do the control V you can also drag down so you got the numbers here now what you want to know is the percent of the budget what you have to do here it's either actual over budget which is the correct way or budget over act actual equal this divided by this 61.6 percent we drag it down we could do it this way too where it has a pound division I hit here delete click in there delete so this is working with this report in a nutshell you submit you get the grade you have to read the analysis when you get it back you download it if you don't like it you get four more chances you get a total of five chances to do this